Thank you, Jay. Um, yeah, you, the, 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 the mention you made there about what's happening on the news right now, for people who may be watching this later in time, like, this is where the Afghanistan evacuation uh, this moment in time is happening. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of, like, on the ground efforts. I think that uh, we're looking at a lot of people coming into the country, which we should be bringing to the United States uh, uh, and helping to support. Uh, but there's there's no real infrastructure in place to do this. This is all sort of happening in an unplanned way. It's, it's really uh, sad and awful. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, suffering is happening that, should, that doesn't need to. Uh, that said, uh, we're going to have our second leader now. Uh, well, uh, Michelle Popovich, uh, also from the Locust program, and give a brief introduction. Pivot really quickly to here. Um, Michelle Popovich is a published essayist and emerging poet. She is an MFA student studying creative nonfiction at Northwestern University. Her essays have appeared in Hippocampus, Talking Writing, and Driftless. You can also hear her tell stories in various live lit venues around Chicago. When she's not writing, she's managing products at a tech company, running very long distances, climbing tall rocks, and vigorously petting her cat. Follow Michelle on Twitter uh, at Michelle with, a, with one L yeah. and check out her password on Michelle with one L. I think that's not common. Yes. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Uh, help you uh, take a moment out and help me welcome Michelle to the podium. Three poems. Um, the first is pandemic isolation inspired poetry. Um, like many of us, I spent a lot of time completely by myself, especially at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and so I was just really interested at what does escapism look like for poetry? Um, so this first piece that I'll be reading, it was actually my locus uh, submission. The piece is called Vagabond. Vagabond. You lost your keys at midnight, in an open lawn. We had been lying in the grass for a tense century of want, and I imagined a vagabond life with you. What if we never found them, pitched in the hazy urban jungle where we forage for mushroom caps in alleyways showered with glass? I chew forgotten coffee grounds and sidewalk cracks, and you floss my teeth with meat slivers of grass. I gift you a red candy wrapper folded into a flower. You stalk a blotching city pigeon to the lake and we soak our toes into grooves. The sherbet sun waves in your hollow chest. The pink polished cliff edged on my pinky nail finally falls off your board, your beard forests down your neck. We forget time not declared by the sun, by the length of my hair fanned out and salted into a rusty storm by the depth of our pebble dimpled palms puzzle pieced together. At night, you fight shadows in the crease of my thigh, and I sink into a slumber deep enough for you to hold onto. I wake early in a naked halo and howl at dark clouds burdened with rain, shove a breath on your shoulder. For now, we comb in search of their keys, our return to civilization, but imagine waking next to me in a dusty tent tethered to nothing. Um, these next two pieces that I will be reading are from a chapbook collection that I also completed in the pandemic, but was not related to the pandemic. Um, it's titled Pradimo, which in Serbian means to make or remake, and it's a reflection on cooking traditional Serbian meals with my grandmother and my late great aunt. So exploring things like heritage and ancestry and food and family. This first piece is called Gold. Jito. I never knew what it was made of, this wheat berries dish, boiled, ground down, and mixed with nuts, sugar, and packed into a crystal bowl. For special days like holy days, and in mourning on the morning of Nana's funeral, Bubba hands me a box of raisins, gold and dark ones, stacked together on top of the jito, a cross. And I feel as if the task is too holy for me, this placing of pieces in place of piecing us back together. Ona ya otishwa. She is gone, Baba tells me. The orchestrator of grief, with her hands on the neckline of my black dress, I pinch it an inch higher. 
in church light pours in like fire, stained glass stamps a kaleidoscope of color. I am having a very hard time putting a hand on Nana's hand, but Baba collapses into her casket. She calls out to her with a name too holy to write on this page, and I cannot look away from this wholesome embrace. Baba, a slanted black silhouette, bun flattened at the base of her head, and I feel bad that it was so hard for me to put a hand on her hand, and that the only coat I had was purple and not black, but I never knew what grief was made of. In English, she is gone is a state of being, a happening to you. In Serbian, ona je otišla is agent, she went, left, departed. When I cross the sweet jito with raisins, the pieces are finally coming together. Baba tells me to pluck away the dark ones for her departure, only gold for Nana. Um, and then this last piece I'll be reading is called Turkish Coffee. It is speaking directly to a famous portrait called the Kosovo Maiden, um, which is essentially depicting a woman that is helping a fallen soldier in a battlefield. Um, this is from hundreds of years ago when the Serbs were under the Ottoman Empire. Um, and this is just like a very famous picture because it's so much a part of our history. Um, and so you will find this picture in a lot of Serbian households, including my grandparents. Our Lady of Serbia, perched proud in her ornate frame above our kitchen table, protected in the Turkish garb of her oppressors, while she offers the kingdom of God to our dying ancestors before the fall of Serbia's. I have gazed upon her for 26 years while we sip the, co sip the coffee of her conquerors and smell 400 years of oppression and rebellion and wonder, is my English the new Ottoman Empire? Does my heritage beat bloodied each time I copy and paste Serbian accents from the internet into a Word document? And do we drink Turkish coffee because a piece of glass shattered into sand can still find its way back together, but in the shape of its breaker? Or is she the image of a Serbian subject merely touched by her Ottoman modifier? And is the Serbian-American hyphen split equal, or does one breathe into the, into the other? Thank you so much. Thank you, our readers. Uh, we're we're going to take a bit of a pause and uh, get back together in about 10, 15 minutes here and have our panel. Um, thank you all for listening and uh, we'll be back in a few.